in this section we want to talk about coconut oil and how it can be used to help your pet's health and overall skin and energy and all of that stuff. Uh, coconut oil for pets, actually coconut oil for animals in general, has been shown to do all the same things that it does for a human being. So essentially for a pet, um, it'll help their skin, their coat, uh, it, it reduces allergies, allergies even from fleas if your dog has that type of an allergy. Uh, improves their digestion, gives them more energy, and actually helps dogs with diabetes, just to name a few things. Um, and even in some more severe cases as well, which I'll get to in a second. First, if you're not sure what a pet is, this is one. Um, if you're not sure if you have a pet, basically it's the thing living with you that doesn't pay any rent and doesn't talk. And that would be this thing. And whimpers and whines a lot for treats and whatever. Uh, Chopper actually we started giving Chopper coconut oil probably a few months ago. Uh, I guess more than that. But he actually had cancer in his leg. And the vet said that uh, he had it removed first. And then the vet said that it was definitely going to come back within three months um, and up to a year. As early as three months and up to a year. And recommended radiation. We, uh, we actually opted out and pulled him off of dog food that had grains in it and other things that we didn't really feel comfortable with and really started implementing more natural foods and coconut oil. And since we've started doing the coconut oil, without question, his coat's gotten a lot shinier. He never had a weight problem, so there really wasn't an issue. We're at about seven months, and we've seen no sign of it coming back. Obviously, this isn't to say that it won't come back. This isn't, you know, we're proposing that in any way. But the overall other effects have been great. Uh, most animals really, really like the taste of coconut, so feeding it to them is relatively easy. Um, a lot of things that you can do for them, I'll start with the topical. I, you know, if your dog gets a bite, be seeing your cat as well. Um, you can you can put it on topically. Uh, places where they might have a rash, you can do that as well. Obviously ingesting it will do a lot of the same things. For a pug, they have wrinkles in their face, obviously, and then they have a little folded up tail in the back and the ears which are covered and in those cases they can get little infections in there all the time uh, a lot of times you can buy stuff to counter that and rub on it but what we do is i'll take a little bit of the oil and actually put it in his wrinkles you can see he doesn't really like that part but you can see him licking because he likes it just wipe it in there um we'll take a swab and put it into his ears to help with that and then on that fold on the back of the tail to help with that some people put it on their dog's coat completely. We found that that gets a little messy because even though it does soak in, um, he sheds a lot and everything that he touches seems to get it. Uh, in terms of eating it, that's pretty easy. We pretty much mix two tablespoons a day in his food. The recommended dosage that I've seen that's really popular is about a half a teaspoon. Um, we're pretty aggressive with it. We see a lot of other people that are. He, it was great with it. It took him two weeks to get used to it. We started off with about a half ta a half a tablespoon and ramped up. He had loose stool, but he was he never had to go like in an urgent way or anything like that. So it was all good. Um, now he's great with it, but you'll pretty much see that that's coconut oil, and he likes it. So feeding it to them and getting and making a mess are two things that are hard. The other thing that you can do if you want to is, here's a treat that he loves, I've just put some on there. And he just takes it in. But overall, if your dog has a weight problem or anything like that, implementing it is absolutely outstanding. And your cat, sorry to leave the little felines out. Uh, it's really great. I know some people, I think, rub them on their paws for reasons. But we've opened up the whole section on pets, so we're going to be updating daily. Not daily on pets, but we will be updating uh, when we get new information or things that we think are helpful for our little pets that don't pay rent. Thanks.